hello students welcome to my channel chemistry knowledge this channel i've specially made for my icc students uh, even cbsc and west bengal board students can refer to this channel uh, in this channel first of all i'll cover icc chemistry i'll start with the first video and i'm going to start with the first topic that is periodic table so in this chapter you'll get a complete analysis of the chapter and at the end i am going to solve both questions also for you i hope you like this video please watch it till the end now before starting a chapter we should first of all understand what is the syllabus that the board has given to us now the syllabus for the class 10 chemistry if you see properly it's visible here is the periodic properties and their variation in the group right so altogether we have got a uh, six properties whose definition and trend we have to study so it's very simple and it's given down there that the study of modern period table up to period three all right and you will not get any question beyond argon so this is very important factors that you have to understand right now let's begin with the first topic that is atomic size now before going into atomic size i would like to introduce you with my periodic table which i made specially for you students in this periodic table what i have done is i have made a table which is limited only up to atomic number 20 so but you are not going to get any question beyond argon in boards but still for betterment and easiness what I've done is I made it till 20 so you have to remember the elements from atomic number one that is right from hydrogen up to calcium right and you can remember this period table so when you move from left to right this group 1a 2a 3a these are known as the groups and when you go from top to bottom this number one two three whatever is visible these are known as the period number got it so you can take a screenshot of this or you can make your own copy afterwards now let's move on to the main topic that is the first periodic properties that we have to learn that is there in our syllabus that is atomic size right now first of all let's come to the definition what is the definition of atomic size it is the distance between the center of nucleus to the outermost orbit of an atom so we are talking about outermost orbit it's not any orbit but we have to consider outermost orbit let me give you a very simple example consider this is sodium atom so sodium atom has got three orbits and this is the most common example sodium atomic number of sodium is 11 so it's 2 8 and 1 right now this is the center so from center of nucleus to the outermost orbit right this is known as this distance whatever you have r this is known as the atomic size so this distance cannot be atomic size because this is not the outermost orbit this distance also cannot be atomic size because this is not the outermost orbit but this distance is the atomic size because this is the outermost orbit got it let's move on now since we have already learned the definition now we will come to the main factor that you get question in boards that is the variation of atomic size now when we talk about variation it means when you move from left to right and when you move from top to bottom okay now this is the keyword which i am highlighting out here every time you give your answer you have to use this keyword so please go through it properly you can take a screenshot of this also like the atomic size when you move from left to right what happens to size the size it decreases okay why because there is increase in effective nuclear charge now what is the effective nuclear charge i'll come afterwards and when you move from top to bottom of the periodic table what happens the atomic size increases why due to increase in number of cell okay so let's understand this further in details okay here comes now you have one example given out here and the example is of sodium okay i have written here a reason for decrease of size from left to right just now i have explained to you that when you move from left to right of the periodic table that means from group 1a towards 0 then the size decreases 
now in order to understand this you have to bring imagination right now i have given an example of sodium and there is one electron in the outermost orbit because the configuration is 2 comma 8 comma 1 right so this is the nucleus and this nucleus contains proton that is the positive charge right and this electron it is negative charge now what will happen is this positive charge and this negative charge will have an attraction got it due to this attraction what will happen is the electron will be pulled towards nucleus as a result what happens to the size the size shrinks a little bit okay due to shrinking of this size due to shrinking of this orbit what happens the size decreases okay let me give you one more example to make you understand better see i've given example of silicon out here the atomic number is 14 so configuration is 2 8 and 4 okay now if you look at the outermost orbit of silicon here i have given you four there are four electrons one two three and four now if you can see properly from the figure that this is the nucleus present out here which is going to attract electron in these four different directions so what is happening is the orbit is further shrinking towards nucleus so if this was the original silicon orbit due to an increase in nuclear charge the orbit is shrinking like this am i clear so what is happening the size is decreasing the size is decreasing and one more thing you have to remember is when you move from left to right of the periodic table the electrons are added in the same cell this is very very important factor it is added in the same cell you are not going to increase the number of cell you can take a previous example in sodium there was three cell two eight and one in the same way in silicon also there is two cell there is three cell two eight and four that is k cell l cell and m cell got it so electrons are added in the same cell now let's take one more example to make it more clear to you come to chlorine chlorine it's in the same group it's in the same period sorry it's period three so see when you move from left to right here also the situation is same so it is atomic number is 17 so 2 8 and 7 so here also you are not increasing the number of cell you are adding electron in the same cell that is kl m cell got it but in case of chlorine there are seven electrons so you have one i have given you two three four five six and seven electrons now what you are observing here is the nucleus can pull electron in all the direction so what will result in this it will ultimately result in shrinking of the atom from all the direction so what happens to the size the size decreases i hope i could make it clear to all of you please suggest now let's move on to the next thing that is from top to bottom this is very very easy when you move from top to bottom that means you move from period one period two period three and period four when you move from top to bottom every time new cells are added that means period one it is k cell l cell m cell and n cell right i have taken example of lithium atomic number of lithium is three so it is two comma one so we have got l cell and k cell right i've given it to you now let's take one more example come to sodium now in sodium you can observe that the atomic number is 11 so the outermost electron is in is added in the new cell that is m cell let me give you one more example okay see come to potassium now the atomic number of potassium is 19 so you have got four cell that is k cell l m and n got it now it is very very easy and obvious for you to understand that when you move from top to bottom of the periodic table each extra electron is added to new orbits new orbits right now if the electron is added to our new orbits what will happen to the distance what will happen to the distance the distance is going to increase it's very obvious from your c if it is only k cell then this is the distance atomic distance if it is l cell then this is the distance c it is M, m cell then this is the distance and if it is n cell this is the distance so obviously it's very clear from the figure itself that whenever you move from top to bottom of the periodic table 
the atomic size has to increase because the distance from nucleus to the outermost cell is increasing got it okay let's move on so here i have come with a simple chart or figure where i have tried to explain you that when you move from left to right the atomic size decreases and when you move from top to bottom the atomic size increases okay now comes the main part here now we have to understand you get question in board exams where we have to compare a cation with a parent atom okay now let's see what is a cation and what is a, what is a parent atom the cation is a positive charge ion and parent atom is that atom from which that positive charge ion is derived like i have given you an example here that is magnesium and magnesium ion so magnesium ion is mg2 plus and magnesium is mg right so magnesium here is your parent atom and magnesium 2 plus is your cation got it now what happens uh, to the size or how can we compare the size of magnesium and parent atom let's see it in the next example okay i have given here now when you look at magnesium and magnesium atom whenever we have to understand the size then my technique for it is you have to find the p by e ratio that means proton by electron ratio now atomic number of magnesium is 12 hence there is 12 electron and 12 proton so 12 divided by 12 comes out to be 1 but when you come to mg plus 2 the number of proton it never changes but mg plus 2 means you are removing two electrons right so there are 10 electrons so when you divide this you will be getting 1.2 that's very obvious that the p by e ratio for mg plus 2 is greater than mg got it hence if p by e ratio is greater for mg plus 2 then we can say that mg plus 2 has more effective nuclear charge let me repeat it once again this p by e ratio is nothing but it is effective nuclear charge so if the effective nuclear charge is more then the size will decrease so it's very very obvious that cation will be smaller than mg plus 2 got it now let's come to anion and parent atom so i have taken one example here cl you can see the example cl and cl minus here this part is understood it's very simple cl minus if you check that electron is 18 so the factor coming out is 0 0.9 now the p by e ratio of chlorine is less than sorry the p by e ratio of chlorine ion is less than chlorine you can see it is one decibel so it's very obvious that chlorine is having more p by e ratio compared to cl minus then if chlorine has more p by e ratio then what happens to the effective nuclear charge that means chlorine has more effective nuclear charge and cl minus has less effective nuclear charge so chlorine has smaller size and cl minus will have larger size understood hence we come to the conclusion that when we consider a cation and an anion like suppose you may have a cation like na plus and you may have an anion like cl minus suppose you got a question in exam which one is smaller in size then obviously you have to remember this keyword that cations are always smaller sorry for this uh, cations are always smaller than uh cations are always smaller than anions so that means cl minus is always larger compared to any plus i hope you have got this now here we have come to the last topic of this part that is isoelectronic ions you get a definition of this i have seen frequent questions coming from this what do you mean by isoelectronic ions so i have given a definition for you ions of different atoms containing the same number of electrons so i'm sorry for this example because my powerpoint project was not working properly n a it has to be small letter a g also has to be small letter and chlorine l also has to be small letter please rectify it now if you come at n a sodium plus okay and i have got mg plus 2 now if you look at these two atom uh, sodium atomic number is 11 
plus means one electron lost so sodium has got 10 electron right come to magnesium magnesium atom number is 12 got it plus 2 means 2 electron lost some electrons are there 10 electrons got it let's see one more example Cl minus sorry sorry we will not take Cl minus we will take F minus okay we'll take F minus because so chlorine belongs to the next period okay now if you look at F minus the atomic number of fluorine is 9 got it minus means one more electron added so 9 plus 1 is equal to 10 am I got it so in fluorine in sodium and in magnesium you have the same number of electrons so what you are observing here is since they have the same number of electrons then we can see sodium ion magnesium ion and fluorine ion they are isoelectronic got it okay i have come up with uh, two three questions for you you can take a screenshot of this and you can try solving it but one key word i will give you that whenever you get this kind of question for a decreasing order and increasing order then what you have to do is first of all you have to arrange the element either group wise or period wise i'll take one example and explain you like chlorine sodium and magnesium okay let's cancel this because this is going to create a little okay uh, it's fine let me come with this calcium beryllium and magnesium like uh, calcium beryllium and magnesium the elements are given from top to bottom so first of all i have to arrange them so first of all it is beryllium then second we have magnesium and then we have calcium got it so first of all i will write it like this now what happens to atomic size when you move from top to bottom think of that think of that figure which i have given so when you move from top to bottom the atomic size i have said it increases got it and the question here is also increasing order so how will i represent my answer i will write down be comma mg comma ca and above it i give an arrow and above the arrow i will write increasing you have to write it above the arrow increasing order got it in this way you are going to solve some of the board questions i hope you have liked this video thank you for watching please do subscribe like and share this video i'm going to come up with the next topic that is um, the metallic and non-metallic character and ionization potential in my next video thank you